I was in town on 9-11, some weeks later, flying to Italy in early October, I wrote the first of what became a trilogy. The second I wrote during my layover in Brussels, the last a few days later in Firenze, where my youngest brother lives. The first in the trilogy, in the trilogy was inspired by an apparition seen on Court Street in Brooklyn a few hours after the towers fell. A handsome young man, impeccably dressed, right arm hanging down, gripping a leather briefcase. Wordlessly, he passed us by, eyes glazed, a vacant stare, looking neither right nor left, no doubt, heading home. Face, hair, business suit, briefcase, all dusted a chalky white. When the towers fell, this is the song. And when the towers fell, were you among those overtaken by the clouds of dust, of fiberglass, asbestos, shattered glass, office memoranda, family photos, concrete, pulverized, and even ash of human bone. Please tell me, was that you? Choking, stumbling with your eyes half closed from tears that ran in streaks down ashy cheeks. Unable to wash out the gritty dust that stung your eyes, invaded all your being, and made you gasp with every breath. You know, you are among the blessed, for you have taken through every pore and deep within your lungs and coursing through your veins and all your tissues the holy sacrament of innocence, incinerated, crushed, obliterated. But now, a part of you, the lost 3,000. This is part two. I won't give you part three because I don't want to overstay my lead here. When the, when the Towers Fell, part two, this is not a song. I was in Brooklyn when the Towers Fell, but witness only to the first to fall. One moment black smoke suddenly turned gray, and with a shower of glittering glass confetti, crumbling, collapsing, it was gone. Then rising up, the white cloud of debris pushed by a strong west wind across the water, obscured from sight what was to happen next. You could not see as far as the East River, let alone the skyline of Manhattan. While waiting for the smoke and dust to clear, I called my brother who lives overseas to say, I am all right, and then to ask, what they are saying there in Italy about all this, and that was when I heard him say, the second tower fell as well. And I said, no, I'm sure you are mistaken. There's so much smoke and dust, it's hard to tell. It was not damaged quite so badly. No, I think that I can still see that it's standing through the clouds of dust and smoke. You're wrong. I'm looking at it live, he said. It's gone. Thank you. Wow.